Lions. At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Chelsea taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Aspili Quetta starts alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And Goro Conte starts alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold starts with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah out oh, wide. Big shots here, Derek. Ball is loose. Oh, and he puts away the second chance. But the goalkeeper angry with himself here. Well, here it is again. And the striker does everything right. Hitting it across the goalkeeper, making it difficult for him. And then a player coming in for the rebound. What a good goal it is. Everything right from the striker's point of view. So underway again here. One nil the score. N'Golo Conte. A good and fair challenge. Diogo Jota. Thiago. Here's Robertson. Chance to do damage. Oh, magnificent reaction. Well, he decided to let the play flow. But now he's going to issue a yellow card. Yeah, I think that's good refereeing. He tried to play the advantage. Short corner favoured. Well, pressure building, another corner. And played short. A delivery from Salah here. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Playing it short. And it's Salah with the cross. Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. And a decent idea, but a difficult pass to execute. Thiago. And this is Diogo Jota now. They really look after the ball when they have it. Clears it away. Encouraging move from Liverpool. And players waiting in the centre. Liverpool pushing to add to their lead. It'll be a corner.
Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, it has come to nothing. And Mohamed Salah now. Mane. Now, will they do it from here? And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. Second goal for them here. Mount. Conte now. Marcos Alonso. Werner with it now. Kai Havertz. And played the pass well. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And threading it forward and keeping it out. Well, there you have it. Liverpool have controlled most of the possession. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Spot on with that tackle. Timo Werner. Now with Havertz, Mount, and that pass could be troublesome. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper, and that will be a corner. And short it is. A fine block. And a good tackle. Can they hit on the break? That is that for the first half here. Well, underway once again, and Chelsea left with the proverbial mountain to climb in the second half. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Marcos Alonso. Oh, fancy footwork. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. And pull back. Making sure it can't miss, surely. What an important piece of defending. Alexander Arnold. Matip now. Fabinho. Salah. And snuffing out the danger. Alonso. Crossing opportunity. And they could get one back here. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Mount. Could reduce the deficit. It's still alive. And in at the second time of asking. But the goalkeeper badly at fault.
Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. The match continues, the arithmetic having been altered by Chelsea. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Number 20, Diogo Jata, to be replaced by number 9, Roberto Firmino. Roberto Firmino and dispossessed tremendous ball played through oh the equaliser just what they needed and the dream remains very much alive Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And the finish is clinical. Hitting it cleanly beyond the keeper. That's a good goal. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Thiago Henderson here is Thiago very comfortable when in possession and the attack looks promising oh in with a chance it could be up for grabs well goal kick just as it was looking promising well they might be piling on the pressure but they've got to make it count in those situations that's for sure Time for the change now. Number 14, Jordan Henderson. To be replaced by number 7, James Milner. Encouraging move from Liverpool. And in with a real chance. what they wanted just look at this again the combination play in the top third of the field was so precise and when he gets onto it he decides to go for power it's a really emphatic finish which gives the keeper no chance They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Substitution for Liverpool. Coming off the pitch. Mateo Kovacic. On to Werner. Time is against Chelsea, but they can still battle back. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Well, this match ebbing away, but not quite in the books just yet. Liverpool desperately want the win. Stuart, interested in your critique of their performance? Well, it's been great entertainment, and we've seen some excellent attacking football. But overall, I think they've been the better team. They've certainly had the greater cutting edge. Now they just need to see this out in the final few moments. And so into the final five minutes. And a good tackle. 
I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge. And it's left to the referee to decide what happens next. Well, now that changes things just a little bit, Stuart. Well, it does, but he can't complain, can he? That's a sending off all day long. Substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch. And time for the change now. To be replaced by number five, Jorginho. Roberto Firmino. Sadio Mane now. Milner. Beautifully disguised ball. Now the task is to remain focused. Brilliantly blocked. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. And a big chunk of added time here, a minimum of five minutes. Alexander Arnold. This could finish it. Keeper did his job to begin with. In it goes! And surely that's the end of the story. They cannot throw us away from here. Well, here it is again, and the striker does everything right. Hits it across the goalkeeper, making it difficult for him, and then a player coming in for the rebound. What a good goal it is. Everything right from the striker's point of view. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly.